give God praise and glory for him. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise for our leader. And thank God for each and every one of the ministers of the house and each and every one of you. Hallelujah. And we give God praise and glory today. Hallelujah. And we give him honor because he's truly worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. He's truly worthy to be adored and lifted up. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, we glorify your name today. Hallelujah. We lift you up because you're truly worthy to be praised in the name of Jesus. And we welcome you into this place even the more, Father, in the name of Jesus. We're God believing that, God, you are that way maker, God, in the name of Jesus. You are the Lord God of increase, God. And we thank you, hallelujah. We thank you, God, for the increase, God, in the spiritual, God, in the name of Jesus. God, as you are filling us up, God, and overflowing us by way of your Holy Spirit and fire, God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for the natural increase in the name of Jesus. And we glorify your name, God, because your word said the blessings of the Lord make it rich and add no sorrow. So, Father, we thank you today in the name of Jesus as we glorify your holy and righteous name. God, decrease me and increase your Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. And Father, we repent of all of our sins today in the name of Jesus, known and unknown word, thought and deed. Ask that you create in us a clean heart, Lord, and renew a right spirit within us. In the mighty name of Jesus. God, we pray, God, in the mighty name of Jesus that you rain down your Holy Ghost power and fire even the more in this place on today, God. And we glorify your name, God. God, that your people ears will be open to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying unto our church. God, we glorify your name for ears being open today and eyes being open today in the name of Jesus God and we praise and bless your name we thank you today God for us being healed hallelujah set free God saved delivered and made whole in you as we praise and bless your holy name God so have your way Holy Spirit have your way in this place have your way in this place hallelujah have your way in this place, hallelujah. Have your way in this place. Have your way, God, hallelujah. Have your way, God. In the name of Jesus. Have your way, God. Amen. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. We welcome each and every one, hallelujah, that is on the airways, God, and in the place, hallelujah. We know that God is everywhere, hallelujah, but we know that his glory don't reside everywhere. But we give God praise on and glory for being in the house on today where his glory and his presence rest in this place, hallelujah. We give God praise, hallelujah. And I said that to say this, it is nothing like being in the presence of the Lord. It is nothing like being in the house of the Lord. It is nothing like being under the shadow of the Almighty. Hallelujah, we give God praise, hallelujah. When I was lifting up, hallelujah, the word to myself unto God in prayer, I began to ask him, what is it that he want me to minister? You can be seated. Hallelujah. I began to ask him, what is it that he want me to minister to his people? Hallelujah. And you know that the word of God, when God began to speak to us, he began to minister to us first. Come on, come on. And I love it. I love it because he began to work in me. He began to show me me. He began to, hallelujah, cleanse me. He began to, hallelujah, work in me to will and to do of his good pleasure. He began to show me him, hallelujah. And that's what he wants us to do today, continue to look unto him, hallelujah. But he began to say to me, lift up Jesus. The woman of God was saying that we got to bring Jesus back into the house of the Lord. He said, lift him up. Yeah. That's our job. That's what we, the body of Christ is supposed to be doing. We're supposed to be lifting up the name of Jesus yeah. Yeah. everywhere we go. Hallelujah. Yeah. And he took me to John 12 and 32. Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 He took me to John 12 and 32. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And give God praise on and glory for his word. And I pray that the Lord bring everything that he want me to say back to my remembrance. Hallelujah. 
he can have his way in me. He can do what he want to do, how he want to do it. Hallelujah. I say yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Remember, he used the foolish thing to confound the wise. Even when we don't understand what's going on, God is still in, he's still moving. Even when we don't see it, he's moving. Even when we don't feel it, he's moving. He's never stopped moving. Hallelujah. God is a moving God. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit moves swiftly through this earth realm. Hallelujah. So he's moving. We just need to be attentive, watchful, and alert in prayer at all times. Praying without ceasing. Staying in that place so that we won't miss the visitation from God. Because he's always moving. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. John 12 and verse 32. And it said, Jesus said, And I, if I be lifted up from the earth, will draw all men unto me. When we ask the body of Christ, lift up Jesus. He will do the drawing. Remember, he's always moving. He's the way maker. We just need to not be in his way, but we need to be available just to say yes to him. Hallelujah. We need to just stay there on that altar like the woman of God was saying this morning. That's what God wants us to be. God began to even change my prayer. Hallelujah. Where I began to pray for our pastors and the pastors and all of the leaders in our cell that we stay between, between the porch and the altar. He began to say, no, now I want you to say that they lay themselves out on the altar. We need to lay ourselves out on the altar, but we're not going to go there, hallelujah, because that's another word. Hallelujah to God be the glory. But he said, if I, if, and I, if I be lifted up from the earth, will draw all men unto me. The Lord Jesus wants his people to live, be healed, saved, set free, delivered, and made whole. Drawn, he had me to look, look up drawn. And it says in the meeting, when I looked it up, it said, obtain something from a particular source. Attract someone to come to a place or an event. Hallelujah. So listen to what the meanings in the, of the definition of the word drone mean. What the body of Christ is supposed to be doing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said we're supposed to be attracting, hallelujah, someone to an event. What is this event that we're supposed to be attracting them to? To the event in the house of the Lord where we come and lift up holy hands and praise our God and glorify him to let them know he is the one to set us free. He is the one that delivers us. He is the one that is the healer and he is our redeemer. Hallelujah. And he is our eternal life. You know last week the pastor was talking about hallelujah us knowing God. God began to bring the scripture to me and it talks about how he said this is eternal life. Hallelujah. That we may know him the only true God in Jesus Christ who he sent. So who is it that the body of Christ supposed to be lifting up? Do we supposed to be lifting up our shell? Oh no. Do we supposed to be lifting up our leader? Oh no. Do we supposed to be lifting up people out there? Oh no. He said lift up Jesus and he's going to do the drawing. Hallelujah. He's going to draw all men unto himself. Even when we don't even see it, he's moving. Hallelujah. Just know that. Oh, I give God praise today. You want me to tell you why? Because he encouraged me. <laughs> He encouraged me. The words of encouragement are so powerful. The woman of God was talking about that. She don't know she was kind of in the, in the service on yesterday with what God had revealed to her. You know, but when we lift up Jesus, he's going to do the drawing. And then the words here continue on with the meanings. Attract someone attention to something, to someone. I put to someone Jesus because they didn't have that in that. But it said to something. I put slash in, in Corinthians to someone, Jesus. Yes. So we're supposed to be attracting people's attention to Jesus. Yes. So when we don't want to be seen, it's time for us to be seen. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. And then it said, induce someone to reveal. Who are we revealing? We're supposed to be revealing Jesus. Because when we reveal Jesus, what happened? Their eyes begin to come open. Hallelujah. So the body of Christ got to do some work. We got to begin to reveal Jesus so that people can begin to see. Their eyes will begin to come open because the enemy is taking his hands off of their eyes because what? We are lifting up Jesus. Who did Jesus come to set the captive free? 
tree. He came to open up blinded eyes. Hallelujah. And then they began to hear with their ears. Hallelujah. When we lift up Jesus. Because the word comes to set them free. So what happens? They begin to hear by way of the spirit what God is saying. Unto their church. I'm spitting y'all. Y'all so. Y'all just, we plead the blood of Jesus, but I ain't got nothing. That's all right. To God be the glory. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Continuing on with the meaning. Yes. Gently, the woman of God was talking about love, yes. but I know God to be one that will firmly, but anyway, God, to God be the glory. He said to gently pull a guy, yes. someone in a specified direction. Yes, right. We're supposed to be pulling gently. Hallelujah. Yeah. Guiding someone to a specified direction. Yeah. To the direction of Jesus Christ. Yeah. We're supposed to be lifting up Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah. To produce an image. Hallelujah. Of someone or something by making lines and marks. Yeah. This is what God began to say to me. We can go to Isaiah 50 and 4. Oh, I wrote it, well, I wrote it down. You can go there. Or you can just write it down. And it says, because it begins to, when I read that meaning, making lines and marks, he said, the Lord God has given me the tongue of the learned that I should know how to speak a word in season to him that is weary. We know the world is weary. We're supposed to have a word on our tongue to speak into that weary person, into that weary spirit to reveal Jesus so they can know that Jesus, hallelujah, <laughs> is that one that they need in that weary place that they're in. He will give them the strength that they need to come out of that weary land. Hallelujah. He's a shelter in the time of the storm that seems to be going on and raging. The storm is real. It is there. But the body of Christ is supposed to be lifting Jesus up. Hallelujah. In the midst of this storm that's going on in this earth. Hallelujah. He said in his word, he said, the laborers are few. He said, but the harvest is plenteous. But God can use only a few in, as laborers. If we only just say yes to God and allow him to use us, he's going to use you in that place of, in the place of the harvest. Because it's harvest time. Hallelujah. It is harvest time. He gives seed to the soil. What seed have he given us? Hallelujah. He has given us his word. He has planted himself on the inside of us. To do what? To bring forth the fruit. The fruit is out there. We got to go get it. Go get it. Not They say go get the blessing. The blessings are the souls that are out there. Go get that. He said, he that wins souls is wise. Come on, come on. He told us to be wiser than the serpent. Yes. But the serpent seemed to be working wiser than the body of Christ because he's not there doing his job. Yes. But where's the body? He said, if he be lifted up, if I and I be lifted up, he will draw, hallelujah, that harvest of souls out there to him. If we just lift him up. So we got to learn how to lift up Jesus because that's what he told me because Jesus said he wants his people to live and not die. He wants us to live and not die and declare the works of the Lord. But we got to also go out, get others and bring them in, train them up so that they can go out and get others and bring them in. We're supposed to be fruitful and multiplying. That's what he left them here to do, for us to do, to be fruitful and multiplying. But the body of Christ gets so distracted when they're talking about Houses cause yes, yes, lands yes, money. Yes, 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 yes. He said he'll supply. Yes, he Hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. He'll supply. Yes, he said it. Yes, That's Lord, all we got to do. He'll add all of that to us. Oh, yes, he want our focus so on him. Yes. To where we know exactly what he want when he want it. Oh, and we're going to move. Because even when we don't see it. We can be walking. We don't see it. Don't you know? Have you ever been in a place to where you don't know why you're there? You know you went there for whatever your uh, purpose, what you thought your plan was. And then you end up in a place where you need to be to minister to that soul. I was in this grocery store in Walmart, matter of fact, and, and um, this lady 
was in this aisle with me. Matter of fact, you kind of cross them. You know how people just rudely cross paths. Yeah, yeah. So I'm glad I was praising God because, you know, we don't keep our minds on God. That's how that flesh rise up too. And, 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 and also when we be in a place of hurry and rush, you know, but I was in the store and the woman come across me and, you know, and, um, and she began the first thing that they always do talk about their aches and their pain. So I know that Jesus wants to heal. So I began to talk to her about Jesus. I began to talk to her about believing in the Lord Jesus because he's our healer. She said she was a believer because when you say you tell me you're a believer, I'm going to talk to you like you're a believer. Yeah, until God showed me otherwise, but I'm still going to talk to you about Jesus, you know, even though he showed me something different. But God, the people of God, even the ones that belong to Jesus out there, they don't have the faith that they need. They're depending on everything but God. Instead of depending on God, he is our healer. He is the one that protects us. But people don't want to believe that. But I'm a believer. God made me a believer. And I thank God that he made me a believer. Hear what I said. He made me a believer. Hallelujah. And it came through someone ministering the word to me. Hallelujah. It came through Caucasian people, people of a different color of skin, even though God is not concerned about different races. God is a spirit and that's what man is. We are a spiritual being. And it's not about color. It's not about color. It's about you knowing God, like Pastor said last week. About you knowing Jesus. Jesus is not asking you what color you are. He's not going, you're not going to go before him and he's going to say, what color is your skin? And then if you don't say the right color, you can't enter in. They ain't got nothing to do with it. You got to have Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Jesus, the one got to be in your life. You got to become just like him. You got to be made just like he said. He made you in his image and in his likeness. And we got to walk in there by just like him. We got to go through Jesus. We can't go past him or over him or under. We got to go straight through Jesus. And Jesus said, lift him up and he going to draw on him. Don't you know he's drawing even us? And I'm even beginning to lift him up. He's drawing us in by his spirit to come closer to him. He wants us to come closer. He said, come closer. Even the children, come closer. The teenagers, the young adults, come closer. God wants you to come closer. He wants you to live and not die. The enemy is out there to kill, steal, and destroy. So the body of Christ is supposed to be lifting up Jesus so that men can see our good works and hallelujah, glorify our God which is in heaven. Hallelujah to Jesus. Oh, we give him praise. We give him praise, honor, and glory. And then I'm going to give a testimony that I gave the other day, yesterday too, about when he's talking about lifting him up. And as he began to give me the word, he began to bring back to me about the young ladies that I, you know, I drive and I um, minister to the people that be in the car with me. So this, and they always ask this question when I start talking about the Lord. Now, for some reason, it's all the time now. You a minister. You must be a minister. One of them said, are you a professor? I'm like, what? <laughs> a professor? I said, I started laughing. She started laughing when I said that. I said, God didn't give me that one. <laughs> I said, because, uh, but if he would have then I would have been making the money that, you know, the professor made. I said, but I didn't get that one. She said, but I've I seen him. The other one said that they were saying the same stuff. So the other one said, she turned around. She said, are you sure you're not a minister? This is another one. And then I, and, and when I was ministering to her, she always looked forward when we're driving. I'm driving, she's looking forward. But this particular time when the Lord began to have me to speak, she turned around in her seat, turned around and faced to me. And this when God was saying, when he's lifted up, he's drawing all men. She said to me, she said, she said, because uh, I can listen to you. I have been to many churches. She said, but I can't listen to them. I'm looking at my clock, my watch, <laughs> saying, when is this going to be over? Because we got to have the spirit and the power of the Holy Ghost to draw men unto God. It is Jesus that is in us as we lift him up and talking about him. He is drawing the people in. He is captivating the minds and hearts of the people to do what? To be able to see. Because the woman of God adjusted her eyes. And I'm trying to figure out what is she seeing now? You know why I'm talking to her? Because she set up straight. 
She turned her body and she adjusted her eyes. God was showing me eyes are being opened. Yeah. Ears, deaf ears are being unplugged. Yeah. So even when we think God is not working that miracle, know that that miracle is already in work and process and progress. Come on. Yes, Lord. Yes. We just need to be planting the seeds. Yeah. Hallelujah. I give God praise and glory. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Then the other thing that he said to me, hallelujah, he began, let's go to, uh, no, no, no. Let, we can go to Numbers. This is the other thing he said to me. He, he showed me. Numbers 21. Hallelujah. We're lifting Jesus up. Now, we just did the New Testament. Praise the God. Praise God. Then we go on to Numbers in the Old Testament. Let me find it. Hallelujah. 21 Numbers 21 and I'm going to start at I want to start through all of it but you know the, the Israelites was uh, had them come out of Egypt God had them brought them out of Egypt and all of that stuff and then you know in the midst of all of that you know Moses was um, disobedient and hit the rock instead of speaking to it and, and therefore disobedience made something else transpire concerning them and they began to have a problem even going through this uh, Edom and all of that but God still he wants us to be saved he wants us to be set free and he wants us to be healed go to verse 4 in 21 and 4 starting at 21 and 4 and the word says and God journeyed and they excuse me journeyed from Mount Hur by the way of the Red Sea to come past the land of Edom and the soul of the people was much discouraged because of the way. See, that's what happens when disobedience comes in. See, when we're disobedient to God, when, he, when he's telling us to do something, then therefore it, it, we get a turn somewhere along the way. We done turned off along the way. So now these people done got discouraged because this way had become even longer than where them being, you know, they, they was in there for 40 years. You know, in the wilderness, okay? So now in the, in the midst of this coming out, they had done been out about 14 years right here. And then in the midst of coming out, they had to go a whole, a whole had another journey that discouraged them. And it because of disobedience. So God don't want us to be disobedient. So when God tells you to go speak to somebody and tell them, even if God told you to go over there and say, you don't have to know them, you don't have to know nothing about them. And the only thing you need to be praying, Father, if you're having me to do this, have that person to be receptive to it. And even if they're not, you keep your focus on God because even when you think he's not working in the midst of you doing, even doing what he told you to do, even though they didn't seem to receive it, you done did what God said. So God's going to honor that even concerning them. But they don't know it. But it's your obedience to God. Hallelujah. And it said, and the people, five, and the people spake against God and Moses, wherefore have ye brought us, wherefore have ye brought us up out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? For there is no bread, neither is there any water, and our soul loathed for this like bread. And the Lord sent fiery serpents against the people amongst the people and they bit the people and much people of Israel died because of murmur and complaining against God and Moses so God don't want none of us from the leader from the put the seats in the back to the door to the front to the, whatever the east, north south east and west he don't want us to be disobedient unto him disobedience then judgment come hallelujah and people don't, they don't seem to realize that consequence, the action, the consequences of your action, that's the judgment that's coming, whatever that may be. So don't be disobedient. Surrender to God, even if you have a fear, a fear that come upon you, turn that fear into the reverential fear of God, that you're not going to be afraid of whether or not that person going to receive you or not. You want to be obedient because you know God said, he said, don't be afraid of man, what they can do and even how they act. He said, but be afraid of the one that can put the, the soul and the spirit in hell and put your whole self in that. He has that power. Hallelujah. And then it said, um, he brought the, the fiery serpents, hallelujah, amongst the people, and they, bit, and they bit the people, and much people of Israel died. 
It said, therefore, the people came to Moses and said, we have sinned, for we have spoken against the Lord and against thee. Pray unto the Lord that he take away the serpents from us. And Moses prayed for the people. And the Lord said unto Moses, make thee a fiery, the Lord said unto Moses, make thee a fiery serpent and set it upon a pole. And it shall come to pass that everyone that is bitten, when he look upon it, he shall live. This serpent that the Lord had God uh, Moses to make, it was representing Christ. It represented him lifting up Jesus. And when they began to look unto Jesus, as Moses lifted up Jesus, that, that, that serpent that he had him to make, which represented Christ, when we look unto him, then they was healed. Hallelujah. So Jesus is letting us know, look unto him, lift him up. He wants to, us to be healed, set free, delivered, and made whole. He don't want us lacking nothing. He don't want nothing missing. He don't want nothing broken. And he don't want sickness in our bodies. He wants us to prosper, be in health, even as our soul is prospering. So keep your soul on Jesus. Keep your eyes on Jesus and lift him up. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. To Jesus. Hallelujah. And Moses. Hallelujah. And the Lord said unto Moses, Make thee the fiery serpent and set it upon the pole, and it shall come to pass that everyone that is bitten, when he looketh upon it, shall live. Hallelujah. And Moses made a serpent of brass and put it upon the pole, and it came to pass that if a serpent had bitten any man, when he, be, when he beheld the serpent of brass, he lived. So keep on looking at Jesus. Go back to John. Hallelujah. John 12. Hallelujah. 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 Let me read that before I go back there. Hallelujah. Jesus want us to lift him up so that when we look unto him, he want us to live, to be healed, saved, set free, delivered, and made whole. Yes, Lord. He want the ones that look upon him, hallelujah, as we, as they look upon us, hallelujah. Remember, we are representing Christ in this earth realm. So when we lift up Jesus, they begin to see Jesus in us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And they begin to, to hear and they begin to see. And the word of God in Isaiah 61 tells us, 60 and 1 tells us, Arise, shine, for the light has come and the glory of God has risen upon us. Know that the glory of God has risen upon us in this hour like never before. Because the harvest is plenteous. Hallelujah. He raising up laborers. Hallelujah. He is resting his glory upon laborers. Hallelujah. The one that are open and willing and obedient to say yes to his will. God is going to use you. Hallelujah. He's going to use you to do exploits. Hallelujah. In this earth. Miracle signs and wonders shall follow them back believe yes, yes, even when you don't see it he's working on, even when you don't feel it he's working yes. he's never stopped working yes. lift up Jesus hallelujah yes, hallelujah to God hallelujah yes, the Holy Spirit of God he captivates the minds and hearts of the people to hear yes. and to listen to the word of God speak the Holy Spirit of God draws us. The Holy Spirit of God judges the heart. The Holy Spirit of God convicts the heart. The Holy Spirit of God converts the heart to God. Hallelujah. He draws you in. Hallelujah. And he turns you over to the Lord. He's working in them. Know that the seed that we plant and sow. God, hallelujah, said one plant. One water. God is giving an increase. Father, Son, Holy Ghost. He's planting. He's watering. He's doing the increase. He's just working in us who are willing and open and obedient unto him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, 12 and 31 of John. Start at verse 30. Jesus answered and said, This voice came not because of me, but for your sake. Hallelujah. Jesus will be getting ready to be lifted up now. Getting ready to go to the cross. He said, 31, now is the judgment of this world. Uh -huh. 
Now shall the prince of this world be cast out. Mm. Now, right here with these words, the Lord already done told us right here that judgment started then. When Jesus was lifted up, when Jesus was lifted up and left this earth, the judgment for the enemy and this for the world and the enemy started. It didn't just begin now. It began back then, before the foundation. But right here, judgment had begun for the world. Now is the judgment of this world. Now shall the prince of this world be cast out. Don't you know Jesus speak things into existence? That's what he's telling us also. That's when the woman of God was talking about us declaring and decreeing. And the, and the child is declaring and decreeing. God going to do exactly what that child is declaring and decreeing. Yeah. Hallelujah. Because he said out of the mouth of the babe, hallelujah, come perfected praise. So her praise, her worship, her de declaration is pure before God. Hallelujah. Yeah. He tried to get us in that place of childlike manner, being humble and meek and lowly before him and say yes to his will and do what he have called and commanded us to do. Yeah. And then he even tells us in his word, hallelujah, when we keep his commandments and do them, hallelujah, yeah. he won't even allow the plague that he put on the Egyptian to come upon us. So we got to be obedient. We got to also be willing. So I pray that everybody in the place and on the line, on the airway, have an open and willing heart to God yes. to say yes to his will. Yeah. Yes to his will. Yeah. Yes to God's will in his way. Oh, it ain't time to try to figure nothing out about God. He said even when we can't see it, he's working. Even when we don't feel it, he's working. He never stopped working. Why? His word and his spirit is active. It's alive. Powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. Hebrews 4 and 12 tells us. Powerful. Sharper. Yes, Lord. So he's doing it all. Yeah. He's cutting up. <laughs> he's rooting up. Yeah. Oh, he's tearing yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> and then he builds up. Yeah. And then he fills up. Yeah. <laughs> he's filling up with the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Holy Ghost power. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost power. Yeah. Holy Ghost power. Because he's finna be lifted up. He said, now judgment. Hallelujah. Is up for, uh, of the judgment of this world. Now shall the prince. He's talking about the enemy. Of this world. Shall be cast out. Remember he was already cast out. From heaven. To here. See Jesus declaring. He's already Jesus letting us know. Speak the word. Speak those things as be as though they were. Speak them into existence. So he, had, he spoke that word. That's what the enemy gone. So God's word is what it says. He's going to do that. Yes. Now, judgment hit the earth after these words were spoken. Yes. Judgment has been going on since this time all the way up until right now. God's word is being fulfilled. Everything that is happening in that, at this timing of our God, it is happening. Nothing, no one can change that. No prayers can change the fulfillment of God's word. The time is now. We must repent, turn back to God now. We must. The church, the body of Christ must lift up Jesus now. So that all men will be drawn unto him. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. He's worthy. Worthy of all the honor. He's worthy, he's worthy of all the glory, glory and honor belong to God, hallelujah, all glory belong to God, hallelujah, glory, 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 glory. 
up Jesus. That's all he wants us to do is lift up Jesus. Jesus already let us know even when people are seem to reject him. Hallelujah. He told us already in his word. He's still working in their hearts to know this now body of Christ that every knee shall bow. Don't make no difference what they're doing. It's their time to receive Christ. If he brings us before them or they come before us, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Hallelujah. And we must tell them what God is saying unto their church. Hallelujah. So that they can be drawn by way of the Holy Spirit that is in us. Hallelujah. So it's time to lift up Jesus. So Jesus said in his word, and if I not be lifted up, he's going to draw. Don't worry about what you're seeing with your natural eyes because we're supposed to be looking through a spiritual lens. Hallelujah. Yeah. So look through the eyes of the Lord. Hallelujah. And see what God is showing you because he is showing you what he's showing you. Listen to what he's saying by way of the spirit because he's saying to you what he's saying to you. Hallelujah to Jesus. So lift him up. Hallelujah. He's drawing all oh, me. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, Unto his church. Yes, we thank you, Lord. And we give you praise today, God, in the name of Jesus. And we glorify your name, God. We plead the blood of Jesus over each and every mind, heart, body, soul, and spirit. God, I declare and decree and command the hearts of each and every one of us, God, to go out and tell somebody about you today. In the mighty name of Jesus, as you rise up on the inside, God, that your will be done in that life of that person. And we glorify your name. So we thank you today, God. We thank you, God, for the ones on the outways, God, in the name of Jesus. We declare and decree God's strength, God. We declare and decree the life, God, in the name of Jesus. We declare and decree healing, God, in the name of Jesus. We declare and decree deliverance in the name of Jesus. We declare and decree salvation, God, in the name of Jesus. We declare and decree for them to be set free and made whole in you. In Jesus' mighty name, we give you praise, honor, and glory. Amen and amen and amen.